Have you ever played Half-Life 2, looked around and thought, Man, I've been here so many times already, I could do with some change. Well, you're not the only one there because I feel the same way. We're in the same boat here, mate. In fact, I dare to say that many of us avid Half-Life 2 players could do with a change of scenery. You know, not something that significantly changes the game or anything, but, well, uh, you know, maybe we could just take a different route someday. This is where a currently in-development mod comes into play. It's called Half-Life 2 Alternus. Alternus? Alternus? I don't know. And it turns Half-Life 2 completely on its head by actually making you take alternative routes through the game instead of the normal ones. Let's get into it. Half-Life 2 Alternus is a mod that's being developed by Echo2056 that aims to expand the world of Half-Life 2 by introducing completely new paths through the game instead of taking the route we've all gotten used to by now. The project started around 2022 somewhere when Echo was re-watching some Freeman's Mind episodes, specifically from Series 2 where Gordon, aka Ross Scott, goes through Half-Life 2. In Episode 3 of that series, Gordon ends up crawling through a vent where he ends up having something to say about it. What the hell kind of vent is this? It's not venting anything! It was supposed to lead me to some warehouse where I could sneak out the other side, not back into the fire! You know, Gordon is right. What is this vent actually ventilating? Echo thought the same thing, but instead of letting the thought linger in their head, they decided to actually make the warehouse that Freeman was talking about in the clip, so that the vent actually leads to a more logical place. Echo then thought that the whole game is actually ripe with alternative routes the player could be taking instead of the route that Valve crafted for us. So, after some more features from Freeman's Mind 2 being implemented, burnout and some personal stuff, Echo finally decided to create a mod DB page for Alternus to take the plunge into making this mod a reality. I cannot express how much I think this mod is a great idea. It brings back that feeling of exploration and discovery that you once had with Half-Life 2, but no longer feel because you're already familiar with every nook and cranny. The subsequent progress updates that were posted over on the Mods ModDB page all show great examples of how these detours and alternate paths will play out. In the first map of Root Canal, and after taking the already established warehouse detour we talked about earlier, we get to a series of service tunnels some of which are collapsed and end up bringing us to a maintenance area which will end up leading us to this basement storage area. We will have to take this elevator to be brought back up to the surface to continue onto the regular path again. Later in the next map, we notice that the collapsed viaduct is completely gone here. Now why would that be a thing? Well, apparently Val forgot that the train tracks part of this broken highway was laying on was still in use. Like five minutes ago. Why have I never noticed this before? This is a bit wacky. So Echo decided to clean up this rubble and throw it all in the way of where we used to be able to pass into the tunnels. But don't worry, we got an alternative route because now we have these combine doors we can go through. And they lead us to a small supply room which is connected to a series of corridors. These corridors will lead us up out of the canals and into a small neighborhood with a house that is fully explorable. Eventually, you come across a combine gate that you have to open in order to proceed. Once you have taken out some civil protection units and have disabled the gate, you get to an electrified maze. And you end up in a warehouse which will have an explosive ending to our detour. After having been through all of that, we're finally back on track on the normal path that Half-Life 2 normally takes us on. So, yeah, quite a detour, but honestly, that sounds so fun. You really get to see what lays beyond the normal path and see a lot more of the normal world. And like I said before, for people who have played through Half-Life 2 a lot of times already, this would be an incredibly fresh experience. The other progress reports show more detours that Echo has been working on. One of those detours involve a whole hotel you have to get through right after that point in Root Canal where you have to follow these pipes through these tunnels. Thank heavens for the visual aid on screen, huh? And the room with explosives in it has also been made a little bit more punchier, eventually creating a hole in the wall you can get through that leads you on another detour that lets you evade the whole water puzzle if you don't want to do that. Now this water puzzle in Half-Life 2 is definitely one of the puzzles in the game. And then there is a third and final progress report which actually came out last Wednesday. Here Echo tackles the water hazard chapter. For one of the detours here, Echo decided to use a Half-Life 2 deathmatch map named DM Runoff as a base. 
heavily modified, of course. But I do think it's a clever use of already existing multiplayer maps and incorporating them into the single-player campaign somehow. And this map here shows exactly where runoff will be placed and where it leads to. The runoff detour will eventually lead you back into a canal meant for shipping boats, where you have to open these gates by climbing on board this wrecked boat and by climbing up to this control room. Afterwards, the game continues as normal again. Very cool stuff. Now, one thing you might start to notice is that Alternus is taking some inspiration here and there from Freeman's Mind. As Freeman's Mind has its own small detours and details that were added to the Half-Life 2 maps for jokes or for practical reasons. Echo wasn't entirely sure if it was the right thing to do to add these Freeman's Mind changes into their mod, as they were technically not their idea. But after having contacted Ross Scott himself, he actually seemed more than okay about this. In fact, he got Echo in contact with the mapper who made these changes, and that mapper was also completely okay with these changes being incorporated into alternates. In the introduction post of the mod, Echo 2056 also talked about some ideas they might have for future chapters, like adding a driving section in City 17 during the Uprising chapters, expanding Ravenom a bit by adding back the docks from the 2003 E3 demo, and more. I think there are endless ideas Echo could come up with here and there, and I can't wait to see what other detours we're going to be getting. Now, there are many more details and bits of information that I skipped over in these progress updates that you might want to check out for yourself. So please click the link in the description below to navigate to the official Half-Life 2 Alternus mod DP page. And give them a follow if you like the idea and want to know when an official demo comes out for this. This is a personal project though, so this might take a little while before it officially comes out. So, what do you think of Half-Life 2 Alternus? Are you excited to play an alternative version of Half-Life 2, or do you think you'll go crazy with all these detours? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you all. And hey, while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell because more content is on the way. In fact, I got something pretty exciting on the way for next week that you might not want to miss. Especially if you're a Black Mesa Blue Shift fan. I'll be seeing you all then.